Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Not be smarting, they happen so. Our brother, uh, Sarid Kubo, not be smarting. No. You know, he's a Tinubu's man. And so he's sponsoring a propaganda right now against Arotimi Amechi. And in case you are wondering, Rotimi Amechi is in APC. And so they say house when they not stand together, they have the dividing. Rotimi Amechi and Tinubu, mm -mm 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 all is not where well. somebody say all is not where well. mm. all is not where well. everybody just they pack in face they say waiting they happen for a year now waiting they go on be that so i said that kubo say we well, say waiting they discover be say some people they won't take advantage of the situation and say now nah, routine me and me she say all oh, the election matter every two they go on since say so now in the user me against the uh, tinubu say we well, say in the day jealous of uh, tinubu please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe let's get all the details i discovered that all the pre-election cases against tinubu were sponsored by amechi the kubo revealed in a live video he captured this morning, Halaji Aseri Dakubo discussed his preparation and all he discovered in the just finished presidential election that concerns Ashiwa Dramed Bola Tinubu, the president elect as the 16th president of Nigeria. Aseri Dakubo asserted that he learned about Rotimi Amechi involvement in all the pre-election charges against Ashiwa Ahmed Bola Tinobo from conversation I had with people in Abuja. He added that a source had told him that Amechi has told his supporters to back Alaji Atiku Abubakar rather than Tinobo. He stated, please be aware, I am not a politician to repay him for all he has done for me throughout my life. I solely backed Ashiwa Ahmed Bola Tinubu's campaign. Alaji Dakubu said, I eventually discovered that some interactions I had with those in Abuja that all the pre-election cases against Ashiwa Ahmed Bola Tinubu were sponsored by Rutimi Amechi Despite all he did with the support of the so-called cabal, he still lost to Tinubu. What a shame. He should do the right thing and call Tinubu rather than jealous and trying to speak against him. This is wrong. He is just a bitter, jealous man. He knows he's not up to Tinubu in any way. He's trying his hardest best possible to make it look like he has some relevance. No, he doesn't. He is just trying to be relevant on another case. He has nothing to offer. So this is exactly what is happening right now. This is exactly what is going on. And in case you are not aware, you'll be shocked to find out that our very own brother has come out to tell Nigerians that, you know, um, Rotimi is jealous of... Uh, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. He said Rotimi is the one who has been sponsoring all the pre election cases, people going against Tinubu. He said it has been, you know, they are all their plans and what have you. Anyway, my lovely, wonderful people, remember that this issue we are talking about and all that is going on here, Nigeria cannot be the same if we keep ignoring the signs that there is need for change. Of course, I must commend each and every single one of you. You did amazingly well. Above and beyond, you were awesome. A lot of people picked their PVCs. A lot of people voted, went through the hurdle by, you know, through thick and thin. I want to tell you of two gentlemen who has really showed a lot of bravery. Yes, one is false, one we call him Mr. Macaroni. Those two gentlemen, if you know the numbers of endorsements that they have lost as a result of their cry for the expression of true democracy in Nigeria. By the way, the list is endless. It's not just false, it's not just Mr. Macaroni, it's not just both of them. There are other people 
whose name you may not know that are all over the place who are there trying to you know understand what is going on in nigeria there are so many other people who are fighting for the true democracy because what we have now it's not democracy this is a lie being being, being put together and asked to tell us that we are in a democratic setting to make it look like to the world nigeria is practicing democracy but honestly in totality and in truthfulness in honesty there is really no 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 truth being attached to all of this so whether you like it or not you can see for yourself that the issue remains that every single one of us we must understand that the days have become so important we cannot afford Okay, we cannot afford to be gentle and quiet in the face of all that is happening. There is really time for everything. And one of such times is now, where every single one of us must arise and do not allow the same thing over and over again. So what's happening right now, what's going on, are all clear indications that we must all, you know, with one accord, continue to ensure that we do not allow the same thing to hold us down. Nigeria is in a very peculiar state and stage, and we need to ensure that we do the right thing. Every time we neglect the opportunity to effect this change, because, I mean, we've done all we can do, and what I think we should do right now is just to pray about it, really. Whatever way you can pray about it, in whatever way, supporting the individuals involved who are... There are sincere, honest men and women out here in Nigeria who, given the opportunity, will stand and ensure that things are done decently and in order. There are those sincere people out there. But what are we experiencing? What are we having? What are we experiencing? A different ballgame altogether. We are experiencing lies. We are experiencing lies upon lies. And it's shameful. It's a very shameful thing. Okay, when people come out and, you know, what they are doing is totally, completely off the mark. Off the mark, I tell you. Totally, completely off the mark. So it is, it is, uh, it is something of great concern. Something of great concern, which nobody, none of us, okay, None of us should turn a blind eyes to, you know, because it is our home, first of all. Although they want to make us feel like we have no say, that's not very correct. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. God bless. Bye for now.